we're going to be doing something really weird and we're going to be doing actually a Q&A. And if you guys don't know, there's a Discord server that we recently started where people are sharing their art and talking and stuff like that. And you can just join the server by clicking the link down in the description. But in the server, we started an Ask Beth tab, which is going to be used for a Q&A, which is this video. So if you want to ask questions, you can either go on there and ask a question or you can just comment in the comments below and that works as well. I'm going to get them from both. But yeah, the Discord server, you can also post them there if you want, which is where I got these original comments because that's where we started it. So the first comment is from Whimsical Fangirl, and they say, what would you do if you could go to South Korea for a week? That's tough. <laughs> that sounds really fun, though, because I always wanted to try traveling to places like that, and that would be really fun to do. But if I was there for a week, I would probably want to go see like some sort of concert because I'm a huge K-pop fan, and I would be so hyped about that. Also, trying some like Korean food would be interesting because I'm like stuck in a rut with food. And I've never tried anything like that, and that would be super cool. Okay, let me see the next comment. The next comment here, if I can find the button, is from Tuna Chan, or Chan. Some people pronounce it Chan. I always say Chan. Um, do you get a lot of commissions from particular from a particular fandom? If so, which one? And I think this means um, commissions that were like for fan art, I would assume, or maybe from people from a fandom. And I haven't received many from fandoms. I think I've received one from like Aphmau's fandom that wanted like a character that was an OC from like an Aphmau series. Most of the commissions aren't from other series or aren't like fan characters inside someone else's series. Most of them are original completely. So I can't say a lot of the commissions are from fandoms. Most of the fandom ones are in the like free um, OCs. The free ones I draw are mostly from fandoms. That's the only ones I could think of. If I don't know if I'm answering your question properly, but I think that's what you mean. <laughs> I think. Let's see. What's the next one? The next one is from Johnny Toast. Do you like anime? I'd, I'd so. What is your favorite? I think it means if so. If so, what is your favorite? I. It's hard to pick a favorite anime because I have a lot of animes I love. But when I think off the top of my head, the ones that I love the most is for some reason I love Full Moon no Sagashite. It's one of my favorite animes of all time. I love that one, like, to pieces. I love Moribito. And I <laughs> I love Mushi Mushishi. I, oh, I can't pronounce it. But yeah, Mushishi was one of my favorites simply because it's like, instead of like a long story developing, it's actually each episode's like its own like mystery. And that is so cool. I love that so much. But um, I'm probably forgetting one that's really important. Oh, Subasa. I love Subasa Chronicles. That one's amazing, so... <laughs> I have a lot of favorites, honestly. I love Inuyasha, too. Oh, I can't pick one. Oh, wait, wait. Or in high school. I love that one, too. Okay, I can't pick a favorite. It's too tough. Okay, we're going next. Um, This is from Lydia. And does your no swearing rule apply to real life? And another one. What TV shows do you happen to watch? Okay, no swearing rule. Um, No, I, I do not swear in real life. If I did, I'd probably slip off a lot in videos, but I don't actually swear in real life and none of our family does and for the other question what tv show do you happen to watch tv shows okay i watch anime like we've mentioned before but i don't watch a lot of like american tv shows if that's what you mean like i know a lot of people watch that um stranger things and stuff like that i i don't watch any i watched doctor who for a while because um my brother was really into it but I've never really watched many shows, so I can't say I have recently anyway. Next up here is, oh my gosh, I forgot I saved this one. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, Tom Cruise son. Are you a beaut like Tom Cruise son? No, Tom Cruise son just is so much out of my league, honestly. I, I don't ask why this happens. It's, it's some meme they started in the Discord server for like a day. It lasted like maybe like three hours and then they're like, it's not funny anymore and they moved on. I don't know. <laughs> okay, next up. I am mortified. Um, Bethany, do you have a boyfriend or do you only have your brother? What? Wait. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Wait. Um, okay. Do you have a boyfriend or do you only have your brother? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. But I think they mean do I live with my brother? Because I do live with my brother. So maybe that's what they mean. I don't know, but yes, I have an online boyfriend, but not like in person. So maybe that's what they mean. I don't know. I If I answer that wrong, let me know. Okay, um, Izurai X asked, Beth, how do you deal with art block? 
This is tough, okay? Art block is one of those things that a lot of artists deal with it differently. And especially if you're doing like actual professional work where you have to like constantly put out work. Like if someone's commissioning you, you have to do your work even if you have some sort of art block. So it's like, it's something you have to kind of work through and learn like how to do it, like how to have your consistent art besides art block. Art block is usually something that like involves not being able to draw due to like your originality or maybe you can't think of like new poses or something like that. But with me, every time I've had that, I've had to work through it anyway. So I had to like get to a point where I can draw consistently the same thing every time. So even if I can't think of a lot of really cool, unique poses, I can still get it done because I have to because I do it for like money now and like commissions and that means you have to get your work done even if you have art block. So it's more like I think it's if you draw a lot and work through it, I think you'd get through it and like your art block would start not being as consistent, I guess. I don't know. That's just my opinion. There's probably a lot of different ways people go through that. Next question is from Xi'an and they ask, Beth, who is your favorite Organization 13 member if you exclude the Sea Salt Trio? Okay, so this is obviously a Kingdom Hearts question. I mean, if you know what Kingdom Hearts is, Xion is a Kingdom Hearts um, character, and she's actually one of the Sea Salt Trio, which is what they call it because they ate Sea Salt ice cream. And I love Kingdom Hearts so much, and excluding the Sea Salt Trio, which is Axel, Roxas, and Xion, that makes it tough because Axel is my favorite organization member by far. But if I had to exclude him, I would probably say either Zigbar, Vexen, oh that's tough, I love a lot of them. I love them all so much, it's so hard to choose. It, oh, that's so bad. Um, I like Zigbar because he had like backstory, and I like Vexen because he seemed like such a unique character idea. And I love Larxene because she just, it's so, her attitude was so intense, and oh it's hard. And Syx, I like him too. You know what, I don't know. I honestly, I, I like them all. Okay, next up is Sakura Loaf. Hey Beth, when did your first when did you first start to draw? There's a typo there. Let me think. I first started to draw. Oh, I was pretty young when I first started drawing. I first started drawing when I was um I don't know. I was so young, I don't remember because they gave us like paper and stuff to draw with, but I never got seriously into it, like actually like focusing on it until I got on Roblox when I was like 11 maybe. I don't remember how old I was when I first got on Roblox, probably younger than that. But that was when I first started focusing on art because I started doing it for like online currency in the game because I had to turn it into a business. That's how I did things. So that's probably the first time I started drawing and focusing on it. Before then, I just kind of did it like really like for fun every once in a while, but I got serious into it about the Roblox days. Um, that alien Lunar. If you had to pick, what type of video would you make the drawing OCs looking over your old comments, just drawing or drawing YouTubers? Okay, so if they're trying to say which genre I would choose out of videos, I'm not sure which I'd pick out of these because they just said drawing OCs, looking over your old comments, just drawing for drawing? I think it's what that meant? No, just drawing and then or drawing YouTubers. Okay, so if I had to pick out of these, I'd probably pick just drawing because that's more of a wide genre that I could like pick other things outside of that. But if I pick just YouTubers, then I'm stuck with YouTubers forever. And if I pick just OCs, then I'm stuck with just OCs. Though, if I don't pick OCs, then that means I can't draw OCs. And if I can't do that, that'd be very sad because that's what I love doing. So that's tough. Honestly, I'd probably go with OCs now that I think about it. Maybe. I mean, that's like an endless thing. So I'd probably go with that if I had to choose. Next is from K Konomi. Konomi, I think it's how you pronounce it. And what's your favorite thing to draw? Oh, uh, okay, my favorite thing to draw is people, obviously, anime people. That's what I love drawing. I did do realism for a while, and I did try animals every once in a while. But I've always just loved drawing anime people. That's been the biggest thing I like doing. I haven't really had anything else. I've never really varied away from that. Every time I did, I've never enjoyed it as much, and other like styles I never enjoyed as much. And my soil changes pretty often, but that's what I enjoy drawing. I can't really think of anything else. Jirachi at Sundown said, Hey, I was wondering if you had any anime recommendations. I've already mentioned anime recommendations. Well, some of them anyway. I mentioned some of my favorites. But for recommendations, I really recommend, like I said, um, Full Moon Sagashi Day, Mushishi, Moribido, um, Orin High School. Oh, there's so many and I'm going to forget them. I'm going to forget which ones I want to mention. Um, I like Kobato. That one was cute. Um, 
<laughs> oh, I'm not going to remember them when I want to say them. Inuyasha is good. Um, I did watch Subasa Chronicles. Oh, I can't think of which ones I like so much because I liked a lot of them and I keep forgetting them. And then when I'm going to quit this video, I'm going like, oh, wait, what about that one? And what about this one? And yeah, I honestly, it's so hard to remember them all at once. I, I will get back to you on that another day <laughs> when I can think of them. Um, Mimo, Memo, Memo, Kind, Mimokind. I don't know what that is. Okay, do you like to draw animals like canines, horses, etc.? And the answer to that is somewhat. Like I sometimes am in the mood to try it and do something new. But other times I really don't like drawing animals simply because I'm not used to it. If I was more used to it, I probably would be like more hyped about drawing animals. But at the moment, no, I'm not that hyped about drawing animals. But I would like to try it more often. Like with OCs, that's always a great excuse to try animals and stuff like that because... People's OCs are nothing like what I would choose to draw, so it's a great way to do it. Um, let's see, next up here is from Bananas. <laughs> Just Bananas. Who's your favorite YouTuber at the moment? Afmao. Afmao's my favorite YouTuber at the moment. It's pretty... I think so. Yeah, because there are some others that I watch, but... I think Afmao's the one I watch more consistently at the moment. Um, Arctic Sand Cat says, do you have any pets? Yes. Four cats? I'm trying to right now think in my head. Because, you know, they're not like my pets in general. It's more like the family pets that they're not really, you know. But yeah, four cats and one dog at the moment. Yeah, that changes a lot. Um, totally family friendly, Lydia. <laughs> Another question. What would you think your life would be like if you went to like a legit school? What The reason they're asking this is because I'm homeschooled. So <laughs> I'm sure if I went to actual public school... I probably would be a lot different because I know people are, oh, they're a lot like how you raise them. When you raise a person or a child, I guess, you're not really raising just a grown up, but when you're raising a kid, they usually become things that they are um, influenced by. So if you're influenced by different things, you're going to be different when you grow up. But I was influenced mostly by like my parents and stuff. So I probably am different than if I went to public school, I'd probably be a very different person, I would assume. I don't know because I can't really see what I would look like if I did. So, who knows? Um, next question is by Johnny Toast. What's your favorite music artist? That's tough. That's tough. I love a lot of artists. I love Stereogram, which is an American musician. Then I love a lot of K-pop. I love BTS, Big Bang, NCT, and a lot more. But I'm trying to pick just favorites. So, I probably shouldn't quote like everyone I love. I love Mamamoo, too. Oh, that's tough. I just love a lot of K-pop, but for um, American artists, Stereogram is probably one of my favorites. Rage Against the Machine is pretty good, but they don't have as many songs. <laughs> Next question is from Sakia14. When it comes down to the request you do by randomly choosing, is it possible for someone to get their OC randomly selected more than once? This is a good question. All right, a lot of people have actually asked me this, and you can technically, because I have accidentally drawn people more than once, and I didn't know I did until later because on YouTube, it saves like the last people you put into the poll, like the names. And I did not realize until I was done with the video that I drew the same person twice. So I know that's totally unfair because if you've already been drawn, drawing someone again, it leaves out other people who could get their first drawing done. And I didn't mean to, but I accidentally do it. So technically, I'd probably slip up and accidentally do it. Knowing me, I am not good at this. <laughs> Next is from I can't pronounce that. Um, Bethany, how did you start commissions? I really want to start with that, but I don't know how to. Yeah, commissions is super fun and a great way to like make an income and maybe even have your own job and stuff in the future. And a lot of people want to do art for a living. So if you want to do that, commissions is a great place to start with practicing all that and whatnot. And I started commissions in a really weird way, honestly. I started with, um, I was on Roblox, and I started doing drawings for people for, like, some Robux, which is the online currency on Roblox. So when I started doing that, and I started drawing people, over time, the price went up on Roblox currency. And at some point, I was over, like, a thousand Robux per drawing, which is a lot of Robux on that game. I mean, it's quite a bit. 
But then after a while, Robux stopped meaning as much because I got so much of it. And I was just like, oh, so I started doing it for $5 instead. So once it got to $5, that's how I started doing my commissions because I was like, I'm gonna make that jump to real money. And it did work and I did continue that way. So I, I would assume a good way to start commissions is first start doing free requests. If you continue, like start with free requests like I did. And it's like, even if it's for an online currency, like I did with Roblox, you can still gain a following for it before you start commissions. And then once you get to commissions, you already have a following there wanting to, you know, support you and whatnot. So free, com free request is a great way to do that because, you know, people will be so happy with the free drawings and they'll be like, wow, that's so nice and a great opportunity. They'll see your commissions as well. Um, next here is Lexi Galaxy, the pepper goddess. <laughs> it's an interesting name. How do you handle criticism? This is tough because sometimes criticism really does get you down. Like I would see someone comment and be like, like I worked on a drawing for hours and then you see a comment saying, wow, the proportions are wrong here. And it gets you down and it's really hard. I think mean, it's easy for me to say, you shouldn't let it get to you. But honestly, it's hard for something not to get to you when you hear it like that. But it is important to change your like mindset to see it as like a way to get better. And if it wasn't for criticism, you probably would never actually learn things you wouldn't normally learn. Like when someone criticizes something, you instantly learn something you didn't know before. Like maybe how a shoulder works or how a leg bends or stuff like that. And every time someone criticizes you, you learn something. So it's technically a good thing, but it's always probably going to get you down a little until you kind of change your mindset because it still gets me down at times, even though I understand it actually helps. Next question is from Cotton um, Tailed. Tailed. I can't read. Cotton tailed. <laughs> I'm not good at my job. Okay, Beth, when you first started posting your art, were you ever discouraged when you saw people with styles or skills that you thought was better than your own? If so, what did you do to overcome that? This is pretty much pretty close to like what I was just talking about. This happens no matter where you are in art. No matter how good you are or how bad you are, no one's really that bad. Usually when you start art, people are get fat, good really fast. I've seen some people get so good. They like start at like 10 years old and they're like so good so fast. I'm so surprised by that. People get like grow so quickly and I love seeing that. That's why I love the Discord server. I get to see you guys' art and that's so exciting for me and I don't know why, but it is and I love it. But anyway about this, I see art all the time. I will go on DeviantArt and there is so much amazing artwork that's so well done. And honestly, it is so hard to change your mindset from seeing it and getting discouraged to seeing it and getting encouraged to try better and do things more in different styles and stuff like that. Because instead of being discouraged, if you find yourself being encouraged by it and wanting to try something new, that's a lot better way to view art that you consider better than yours than just seeing it and being like, man, I don't want to draw anymore because my art style is not as good as theirs. You see what I mean? <laughs> That's what I see anyway. Well, that's just my opinion, but that's what I think is a good way to get by that and actually see people's arts and think it's amazing and something you want to aim for instead of being discouraged by it. Next is from, wait, Whimsical Fangirl. I think we already did a comment from her. I think probably done people's comments multiple times. Um, what's your favorite food? I don't know. Though if I had to pick a food that I think is the most commonly sounds good to me and doesn't make me feel sick when I eat it, would be a chicken salad. I love that so much. It doesn't, most foods make me feel really sick when I eat them and I don't know why. Like if I had pizza, I would feel so sick. It's so good, but it makes me feel really sick. So a salad doesn't make me feel sick. So that's honestly a better choice and I crave it and I don't know why. Um, Star the Wolf said, I can't draw like most people because I only have a tablet and can hand draw on it. Any tips for for the, any tips that can help, please. Sorry, I'm failing to read. But yes, um, this person is pretty much saying they have only a tablet that they can use their hand with to try and draw, and that's really limiting them. And that is true. A tablet that you can only draw with your hand is going to be limiting, but it's still able to draw amazing art with that. I know it's a lot harder to do that, but it's still possible. So don't think that like if you don't have the like perfect um, things to draw with, like you don't have a big drawing tablet, or if you don't have the best markers, you don't have these thousand dollar pens, stuff like that. There are some markers that are so expensive and people act like they can't draw without them. And sure, those markers would help and make your, probably your coloring more smooth. And the tablet would probably make your hand lines more smooth too. But 
Honestly, you can draw art with anything and get great results with anything. It's sure it would be a bigger obstacle, but you can still do it because I've seen people draw incredibly amazing work with like salt on a table. So honestly, you can draw with anything. You just have to have a lot of motivation. Next up is baked potato. Is your hair naturally like that? Cause it's really pretty. Oh, thank you. That's really nice. But yeah, it's naturally really curly. And honestly, it's kind of like a curse because it's impossible to take care of. And I don't know how to take care of it in a way that won't, doesn't take like an hour every morning to figure it out. And oh, it's terrible. I need a haircut too. <laughs> um, DRG Dangerous said, Hi, I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel and I got to know how do you draw so good? This is a very general question, but thank you very much. I'm glad you guys like my art. That is so nice. And I, it's always really uplifting when someone likes your art. It's like, oh, someone actually enjoyed it. And that's so exciting. But like I said, practice. You just got to practice a ton for getting anywhere with art. Art is all about practice and trying it over and over again, being very repetitive with practicing. And then you'll totally learn things. And that's how I did it anyway. Um, here's another question from Whimsical Fangirl. This is the third one with her. How do you draw really curly hair? And then someone else was like, yeah, I would love to know how you draw really curly hair. So I don't know if you can see both these comments. It's probably cut off. <laughs> but yeah, that's what they're asking. And for curly hair, the biggest thing is don't separate every little strand. Instead, when you're doing anime, I like to hook together big strands and draw like a big loop. And then like start from like the part in the hair and go down in a big curly loop. I, I can't really show you because I don't have a pen and paper. <laughs> but if you start from the part and move downward with big loops and then draw them underneath each other, I think that's the best way to go about it. Next question is from Nitro94. How long is your Minecraft roleplay going to be? Okay, it could go on for a very long time if I do what I'm wanting to do because, and it may not always be in Minecraft though. The story may continue in different ways. Like after the first two seasons that I'm working on right now, which is with Clifford and then the other one with Paige and all those friends, those will probably last, who knows, maybe like 20 some episodes or so. Then after those are done, the story will still continue and still go on with things, but it may be not in Minecraft. It may be in Minecraft. Who knows? I don't have plans for it yet. I know the story already because it's the story me and my brother made up as kids, but I'm not sure how I'm going to continue it entirely yet. Hopefully we can continue on with that because I hope so anyway. Next question is from Nix Castellan. Castellan. Any favorite songs? I love Tsunami by Stereogram. It's like one of my obsessions. I love that song so much. And I also love, um, oh, what's it called? It's from Rage Against the Machine. It's like Renegades of Funk. I love that song too. They're, that's two of my favorite songs anyway. SRW said, what are you looking forward to most in Kingdom Hearts 3? Just wondering. Kingdom Hearts 3, I am so hyped for. Okay, I was so hyped for um, 2.8 when that came out. And I was so hyped for all of those games. And I, I've played through all the games already. And I am really, really excited for Kingdom Hearts 3. And the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is probably a playable character besides the story, because the story is definitely the biggest thing I'm excited for, because I love the Kingdom Hearts story and all the lore and I'm super hyped to see what happens. But besides that, like gameplay wise, I would love to see being able to play with more characters, like being able to play with Riku or maybe Kairi. I would say Lee, but that's like a little bit of a reach there. I don't think they're going to let you play with Lee, but he's honestly my favorite character, Axel or Lee, whatever you call him. He's my favorite character, so I'd love to be able to play with him one day, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Next question is from Timbertail. <laughs> it's a cute name. I love his little icon. Um, how old do you have to be in order to audition for voice acting? As you know, there is a voice acting way to audition on the Discord server. It's not always open. It's open when we need new voice actors, so you probably won't see it if you join. But um, you don't have. there's not an age limit. It's pretty much if you have good audio quality and you're able to consistently do audio like voice recording. Like if, and also if you're young, make sure ask your parents. I don't want you guys doing something against them or something they don't know about if you are younger. So make sure you ask your parents. That's important. Yeah, but there's no, not really a age limit because I'm not like paying anybody. I'm paying you with respect. <laughs> Next up is Solar Bliss. How old are you? I'm 22. I'm really old. <laughs> okay, no, I'm not that old, but yeah, I'm 22. Um, next, Jimmy. 
Who's your favorite Witcher and Tell character, Bethany? I don't know. I do not know. No, the dancing on the roof little um, Fun as a Freddy's character. He is so cute. I love that thing. It's not really it's not really a Ventura and Tail character though, but it's super adorable. Um, next up a copy PC, Xbox, PS4, or Switch. Um, if I had to pick one of those, I would say PC. Because there's more options on PC. Because I mean I love PS4 and I love Switch. I'm not a big Xbox fan. I've tried them all, so don't hate. I've tried them all. I'm being honest. I just, I'm not a big Xbox fan. PS4, I feel like, has more, like, games on it that are just, like, just for PS4. Exclusives, I guess, what you call them. And Switch, I love Switch because I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I just love that. And they've released so many good games recently. And PC, because that there's so many options on there. Um, Vision Tail. Are you still playing with Venturian? Yes. I play in their videos. All of them. Most of them, anyway. <laughs> I'm always, always there. Uh, if you've, I don't know if you guys still watch it. Some people like haven't watched them in a while, so that's probably why. Um, Ella Gamer Rose said, "What's your favorite music artist?" Didn't we already talk about music artists? I think we already answered a question just like this. I swear we did. I think I said BTS, and then I mentioned other groups like Stereogram, Rage Against the Machine, <laughs> NCT, stuff like that. Um, Pluto Plutonium asks, "When did you get into art?" I swear I've answered this question too. <laughs> I think I did. I think I have multiple questions that are very similar. Yeah, really young. Art, really young. But yeah, if you guys want to answer um or add questions, all you have to do is go into the Discord server, join, go into the Beth, uh, Ask Beth tab, and then you could just post a question there, or you can go down into the comments of this video and ask a question there. If I ever get back to doing these videos and doing another q and I'll make sure to answer your question. I answered almost all of them that were entered, I think. But I did, there were some that were pretty repetitive. But so, if be um, very original to your question, and you'll probably get in because if you're not repetitive, <laughs> hopefully I won't like, I answer the same question 5,000 times. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching.